Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about Arterial Line Square Wave Test. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. The learning objectives we will be discussing in this video are what is arterial line, arterial line setup and transducer kit, what is square wave test in arterial line and its uses, how to perform arterial line square wave test, what are the nursing considerations. Let's get into the topic. What is an arterial line? An arterial line, otherwise known as A-line or arterial catheter, is a thin flexible catheter inserted into an artery, either radial or femoral artery, in order to measure the real-time blood pressure with the help of transducer kit connected to the monitor. We have already discussed a video related to arterial line regarding this setup and the link is given in the description below. In this video, we will be mainly focusing on square wave test. Before that, let's quickly summarize the setup of an arterial line. So here is the arterial line setup. Arterial catheter is inserted into a radial artery. Transducer is connected in the IV stand at level of phlebostatic axis. Next, pressure monitoring line is connected to the transducer kit. Next is the pressurized saline bag attached in the IV pole and the IV tubing connected in the other end of the transducer. Next is cable from the transducer is attached to the monitor for measuring the real-time blood pressure. So this is all about the setup. Now parts of transducer kit. This is the point where the arterial line is attached with the help of PM line. Next comes the stopcock. When we take a close look at the stopcock, there is a word written in the stopcock, OFF. When we look at the direction in which it is turned, it indicates that the stopcock is OFF to the atmospheric vent. And this means that the arterial line is open to the transducer. Next to stopcock is the transducer and next to transducer is the single-handed line flushing. Next comes the point where the pressurized saline bag is attached. And the white line which goes is called the cable and this is attached to the monitor. So this is all about the parts of transducer kit. So after the arterial line setup and the position of the patient, zeroing of the monitor is done and then the arterial line waveform is checked in the monitor. Next, let's discuss about the arterial line waveform. Arterial line waveform has three distinct components. The systolic phase, the diacrotic notch, and the diastolic phase. The systolic phase is characterized by a rapid increase in pressure to a peak followed by a rapid decline. This phase begins with the opening of the aortic valve and corresponds to the left ventricular ejection. The diacrotic notch represents the closure of the aortic valve. The diastolic phase which represents the runoff of blood into the peripheral circulation. This is the normal waveform graph for your reference and here you can see the systolic, diastolic pressure and the map. Here comes arterial line square wave test. The square wave test is used to assess the accuracy and functionality of the arterial blood pressure monitoring system. The arterial line can measure blood pressure inaccurately unless properly calibrated. So square wave test helps to identify whether the arterial line is functioning correctly or not. Here you can see the normal waveform and the other waveform here shows the square wave followed by the normal waveform. Next, let's discuss how do we perform an arterial line square wave test. Perform hand hygiene and wear gloves. Next, activate the fast flush 
to deliver a bolus of saline solution into the arterial line. This can be done by squeezing the fast flush with two fingers as shown in the figure or rapidly flush the line with a normal saline using syringe. This causes a sudden increase in pressure within the system. Now observe the pressure waveform. If you see the waveform shown here, it is normal. After activating the fast flush, we can observe a rapid rise to a square-like shape followed by a quick return to the baseline. This is called square wave. Now, with this square wave test, what can we identify? Let's discuss. Now, what is a normal arterial line square wave? When we take a look at this waveform after a square wave test, how does it appear? The square wave is followed by 1 to 2 oscillations and returned to baseline. Oscillations in the waveform can refer to the presence of small fluctuations or radiation in the pressure waveform following the administration of the square wave flush. Check for oscillations as an indicator of the harmonic characteristics of the system. Now, square wave followed by 1 to 2 oscillations and returned to baseline with the dichrotic notch is considered a normal waveform. Next is, what is an underdamped arterial line square wave? When we see the waveform followed by square wave, there are more than two oscillations with a fast flush. Also, there is false high systolic or false low diastolic pressures. Next, what is an overdamped arterial line square wave? In this waveform, followed by square wave, there is sluggish or no oscillations with a fast flush, there is absence of dichrotic notch, and there is false low systolic or false high diastolic pressures. Now, being a bedside nurse, a nurse should know that in case of a damped waveform, what are the actions need to be taken? First, let's discuss what are the causes of a damped waveform. The causes include air bubbles in the catheter, blood clots in the catheter, incorrect transducer position, pressure bag less than 300 mg, displacement of arterial catheter. What are the nursing actions need to be taken in such cases? When there is air bubbles or blood clot in the catheter, remove air and clot from the lines. Check the backflow of the arterial line. When there is incorrect transducer position, try to position the transducer at the correct level, that is, at the level of the right atrium. Next is, when pressure bag is less than 300 mg, maintain the pressure bag to 300 mg. In case of displacement of arterial catheter, check the site and position of the arterial line. If there is any malpositioning, inform the physician immediately. Tighten all the connections. Make sure the stopcock positions are correct. After doing all this, if the square wave is followed by one or two oscillations in the presence of dichrotic notch, this indicates the arterial line is functioning properly. If there is no oscillations or if there is more than two oscillations, then inform the physician. One important point to be noted is, depending upon the site of arterial catheter, the waveform also differs. So, so far we have discussed what is arterial line, the arterial line setup and transducer kit, what is a square wave test in arterial line and its uses, how do we perform arterial line square wave test, and the nursing considerations. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe it, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.